19 titled Emeth has just dropped about an hour ago and uh, to end this three batches of chapters it's really solid it's not the best and it's not the worst it's in the very middle of the last three chapters and for uh, last week I said I wouldn't be covering Yamato's cover story until something interesting happens and something interesting has happened as we can see in volume 9 Yamato is facing some sort of pushback from the children of Wano because of their hate for Kaido and in turn Onis because Yamato has the sim horns and his um carnival if that's what it's called yes the carnival and hopefully we can see throughout the weeks Yamato can help mend this relationship and prove she is not like her father and is willing to progress and have more people accept her outside of the flower capital because we saw in the previous volume in the flower capital they love Yamato so the chapter starts on Stussy and Kaku Stussy seems to really want to leave with Kaku but Kaku still seems to really want to maintain his loyalty to the government and his position in CP0 but he as we can see in this panel is very torn between it as Stussy did save him and his boy Luchi did seem to leave him behind. Where Stussy goes from here I'm not sure but Kaku is interesting because if Kaku goes back to CP0 what's to say they would just abandon him. Kaku for most part hasn't done much on this mission in Egghead. Kaku has been the least relevant member of CP0 because while Stussy was still part of CP0, she was giving a lot of information about the domes and how Egghead Island works. Luchi did a lot of the fighting while Kaku was mostly just there to command the Seraphim which was taken very quickly and he got low diffed. He got low diffed very easily. So we go back to Joy Boy and Joy Girl and the Marines are reacting to Luffy and how he looks like his bounty poster. We still don't know how many people have in story seen Luffy in gear 5 apart from like the Straw Hats, the Giants, Bonnie and the Elders. But now we're having Marines seeing it and then acknowledging Nika is real. Bonnie, for the most part, if we look later in the chapter, we can see he's able to use... It looks like a gear 3 attack, like when Luffy enlarges his hand in gear 3. But the main thing is, it looks like she's using Haki. Because Luffy asks them to hit him. Because Luffy says he's going to grab onto... Mars and he understands that they can't be hurt if they're sliced or crushed so he wants uh, Sanji, uh, Bonnie and Frankie to hit him hard and the Giants are going to leave the bird Mars up to Luffy and his uh, associates while Luffy grabs on Sanji uses a uh, Ifrit Jambe he uses Ifrit of all it's not his normal Diablo he uses Ifrit Jambe impact strong full right and then Gi giant Nika punch. The hockey is really con now. It's not radiating like it's not a um, what's it called? Advanced ornament or conquerors where it's spewing out black light. It just looks like basic ornament hockey. Which, to my understanding, Bonnie hasn't shown her use of hockey once. Not observ maybe she's shown observation with her understanding of emotions, but she hasn't shown any ornament hockey. This is her first time showing ornament hockey, and it's in Nika form. That would be contentious, of course, because people are not happy with her having that ability. It hurts Luffy, and he asks them, are you guys using Haki? And it seems like they are using Haki. Then Luffy uses Booming Dawn Balloon and sends Mars flying. So, how fast Mars can fly back, we will see. Because the last time Luffy sent a Gorosei flying, they spun back immediately with uh, the Saturn and Pizaru form. Usopp and the others are still not down and we don't see them. We still don't get a continuation of two chapters ago when we saw Zoro clashing with uh, Venus. Atlas seems to be going up to the Labrostratum to check on them and is aware that York is monitoring them. So does that mean uh, Lilith and Atlas are able to tell York is at the punk records and able to see them? 
we're not sure but she's able to tell they are being monitored and they are being tracked we see the ancient giant underground standing and the denden mushi is still active and it's speaking it says nothing and that's and of the sorts that's why it fizzes that ceaselessly inherent aspect sees again we can call it will seizes fizz so there's a bit more vegapunk says he ends with i can only pray my voice reaches you so to me that means cuz the first stop that is the end of vegapunk's message apart from like the big part the last bit about the will of d to the people who have the will of d has not been explicitly stated and we don't really understand what he was inferring maybe we'll get a flashback later but that seems to be it the denden mushi it seems like that's it it's done it looks like it's slogging off and katakuri is back up we can see in hoki katakuri is back up after we saw in uh, the drama double sixes in mushi's excursion cover story that he was taken down by a copy of himself created by who was it i can't remember either he fought himself or he fought another sweet commander i can't remember but i know he he was out of commission for a small amount that seems to be an underwater explosion type movement and cypherpol agents and the sort of him are falling out the sky and it seems to be jupiter kind of just like pushing them out of his throat and just sending them out then he attempts to suck the ship in but luffy gives him a punch that to my understanding it has haki but it's not really doing damage once again it seems to be a really short chapter cuz the next page is the last page it's like be another 13 14 page chapter so i haven't really been getting these long chapters like we were getting two chapters and before that so after luffy punch- punches uh, jupiter the giants who earlier were dancing to the dundudara sound well very happy to say get him nika and then uh, wakuri once again rushes in to go and attack uh, luffy and he, luffy says his skin is really tough and he might crush the ship wakuri jumps off the land and seems to be going towards the ship and the ancient giant hits it back and we have listen up emeth the time is at hand the time So before that we must speak on Bonnie. Bonnie is immediately out of gear for gear 5 immediately. Even if she goes and she seems to have Luffy's ability to be able to maintain the form. Bonnie seems to be able to go into the form but she's immediately out of the form. Now Bonnie can eat more or to a similar level as Luffy. So if she eats will she go back into gear 5? We're not sure but Bonnie seems to be out of it for now. the ancient robot his message i'll say it again in full joy boy listen up emmet in quotation marks the time is at hand so this seems to be joy boy talking to the ancient robot who is called emmet and he questions the time the time i guess it could be the time to like whatever joy boy was planning to do at the end of the ancient war it seems like the time is now Because if we go back to what Toki said, Toki came from the void century to the future. So it seems like whatever Toki's mission was, it relies heavily on time. And Joy Boy over here seems to talk about the time is at hand. So the Ancient Robot is active and Joy Boy in Luffy is here. And Ancient Robot does do significant damage to Saturn. He breaks off one of his tusks in half. It's... half broken but this is really really significant in this is the first time we've seen a gorose take actual physical damage we can see apart from when saturn got stabbed he immediately regen so unless next chapter 2 weeks from now wokuri immediately regrows this task i'm still not sure where we can go from here but that's it and the chapter ends with the ancient giants not sure with the ice popping out um tune force style on what the hell is that in the robot form 
and Luffy is amazed by the robot. I wish you could see uh, Frankie. I wish Frankie could see this and be blown away by the ancient robot. Hopefully, see that next chapter, the romance lives on. That's how the chapter ends. Break next week, as I've said before. Overall, short chapter. Again, I wonder if that has something to do with Oda's health. But I don't expect it on his health. But short chapter again. Bonnie, we still haven't seen her do much in Gear 5. She just did one ornament hockey up punch. And we'll see what happens with this next. But overall, it was strong chapter. Another 8 out of 10 chapter. It could be 7. No. Last chapter, I gave it a 7. This chapter, I gave it an 8. That's how I'll rank them. But overall, once again, One Piece is still peak. And Lu... Kaku, I want to see where Kaku goes from here. Because if Tusi can convince Kaku to leave with her, I wonder where they go and how they'll fit into the overall background of the story. Because they won't be at the forefront anymore, how they fit into the background. And how Luchi fits into this dynamic. Because Luchi stated, I thought in the previous anime episode, and in the manga I said it before, Luchi plans to give Tusi consequences for her betrayal. So we will see how this progresses. But overall, it's been a good chapter, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.